Kaylee Humphreys alleges this man, her coach, Todd Hayes, verbally and mentally abused her during the 2017-2018 season. It's certainly not fair that I'm getting punished time and time again. Hayes is a head coach of Canada's national bobsleigh team. Last August, Humphreys filed a harassment complaint with the organization. Since then, he stayed and she stayed away. I've made it very well known. I want to be back. I want to be competing. I didn't want this to end my career. Bobsleigh Canada says its internal investigation is still ongoing. Humphrey says the organization has taken too long and has blocked her request to be released from the team. And now she's suing them, spelling out her complaints in court documents filed this week. Humphreys alleges Hayes verbally attacked her personally and professionally and that she was astonished by what Hayes was saying. It's really hard. CBC has also learned two former athletes coached by Hayes during his time with USA Bobsled also filed misconduct reports with Safe Sport. Todd Hayes was physically, verbally and mentally abusive during his tenor and although the team won medals, his behavior had lasting effects on his athletes, including myself, said one of the former athletes coached by Hayes. Safe Sport won't comment on individual cases, and today, Bobsleigh Canada responded on Hayes' behalf. As the matter is now in the courts, there will be no comment from Todd Hayes until this is wrapped up. It has yet to file a statement of defense. I need to be the best athlete I can be and go where it's safe, it's conducive, where I'm respected. Humphreys has given the organization until Wednesday to release her from the program. She plans to attend a U.S. training camp next Thursday. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto. You probably got a sense of it there. Humphreys is clearly torn about this. Representing Canada has defined her career as a fierce competitor, a flag bearer, and on the podium. Online, some have characterized her move as a betrayal, but among many Canadian athletes, she's found support. Erin Collins gets some of that reaction firsthand. Olympic medalists from Canada are in a select club. Jen Kish is a member, winning bronze, playing rugby in Rio. She's also a friend of Kaylee Humphreys. She's a Canadian icon who has um, won this country three Olympic medals. Kish, who's retired, says many athletes likely support Humphreys' move to the U.S., but she says few that are still competing are likely to speak up. If it was a safer place for athletes to speak out without being reprimanded for doing so, I think a lot of athletes would, would um, come forward with their stories. Former Olympians like skeleton gold medalist John Montgomery were quick to weigh in online, tweeting that he had mad respect for Humphreys. The Hockey Hall of Famer and five-time Olympian Haley Wickenheiser also tweeted her support, saying Canada's loss is the United States' gain. Mark McCoy has walked the path Kaylee Humphreys has embarked on. McCoy won a gold medal in hurdles for Canada at the 1992 Olympics. Four years later, he ran for Austria at the Games. He says he understands why Humphreys would move to the U.S. to compete. I was basically hitting my head against the wall for 20 years competing for Canada, trying to do it on your own without any support. And finally, I, I went to train in, in the States. I went to train in Britain. I basically had to do it myself, and that was the only way I could win. Jen Kish agrees that Canada's athletes need more support in and out of training. And she says there's no question who she'll be cheering for in the next Winter Games. Um, absolutely, I will be rooting for Kaylee, and I hope the rest of Canada and her fans um, do too. And Kish believes that many other Canadian athletes will be quietly cheering along with her. Erin Collins, CBC News, Calgary.